Good morning, everyone. It is a Wednesday, middle of the week, February morning here in Texas. How are you this morning? I hope this video finds you well and you getting your day started. I am running a little behind today, <clears throat> but I still want to take the time to put myself together and feel ready to start my day um, on a positive note. And one of the ways I do that is by getting myself together, putting my makeup on every day, and just making myself feel good by looking good and feeling confident. That's really important to me. I think it's an important part of, for me anyways, getting myself ready for the day. So grab a drink. I have my trusty iced coffee. Dunkin' Donut. I tried my first cold brew on my own. Um, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. <clears throat> Might work out where I can save some money by doing it on my own instead of buying it in a bottle first. It's probably better for you too, I'm guessing. So, there is my trusty coffee. Grab a snack, grab your tools and your supplies, your makeup, and let's go. I have done my brows already. I did those this morning with an e.l.f. Um, setting wax and with my Adele powder. Um, <clears throat> right now while I'm recuperating, it's just easier for me to manipulate a small brush than it is a pencil uh, because the pencil would go everywhere <laughs> with my left hand and that wouldn't look very attractive, I don't think. So we're going to just stick with powder for the time being until my... Um, shoulder is feeling better and I can move it more with my hand. Alright, <clears throat> we're going to start today with my CoverGirl <clears throat> Correcting Serum. It is a corrector, a moisturizer, a primer all in one. It is in the pink color to offset the um, pink and red undertones in my skin. And we're going to get that all worked into skin. See if I can get that other arm up there and do some help here. If I go real slow, I can probably do it. I'm telling you this shoulder surgery that I had, oh boy, the aftermath, once that nerve block wore off, boy did I feel it, I'm telling you. I do want to give you an update too on a couple of other things. My husband's doing really well. He has gone back to work this week. <clears throat> which is so encouraging for him. I know he was really ready. It's hard to sit and do nothing for almost two months when you are always busy. And so to retrain your thought process for that, that's a hard thing to do. And most people don't realize that when you go into a surgery like this, that when you, when you are recuperating, you really are restricted on what you can do. And for him, he was definitely restricted and so just doing nothing throughout the day has definitely been a challenge for him. Okay, I'm going to use a different primer today, just mixing it up a little bit today. I am using my e.l.f. putty primer today. And no other reason than I just am trying to use up some products that I have before their life expectancy runs out and they are no longer any good. And uh, so we are using that product. It is the Cookies and Cream <coughs> Elf Primer. Very nice product as well. I do like this one. I, I use this one sometimes in addition with my other primers uh, in my T-zone here. If I'm really trying to uh, cover up and get my pores to look 
very small. I will use that in addition to the normal uh, primers that I use. I normally use the hydrating 24 hour health hydrating primer um, <clears throat> and I love that and I'll continue to use it. We're just, as I said, just trying to use up some products in my makeup collection. Ow! Alright, we are going to come in this morning. <clears throat> I do feel like when I use my concealer, especially this concealer first, I do get a different look on my under eye. So I'm using my Joa Hydrating Concealer. And I'm putting that on. I'm not using very much. I just used one turn. It looks like it's a lot because it's a. I'm pressing it in with a um, sponge, but it is really not a, a, an actual lot of product. Joa, <coughs> fairest lightest color. It's not an easy product to find. I'm well going to just warn you of that. Um, it took me a while to find it actually when I needed to reorder it. So I'm just going to come in and get all this blended here. Um, so my husband's doing really well, so thank you everybody for checking up on him. That is so appreciated and so very kind of you to even think to ask. So thank you for that. That's very, very kind. That means an awful lot to me as well as to my husband, Bill. I am on my first week of using this new cream that I've been using on my face called Life Cell. And I do see significant changes in my <coughs> troubled areas. My troubled areas are right here, my smile lines, right here and right here, down on my neck. I'm definitely seeing a change in my neck. My gobble gobble is definitely diminishing. Um, the product feels remarkable when you put it on and the difference in my skin when I combine <coughs> using that product with my new, f my new foundation which is my House Labs fun foundation, um, I am seeing a, a, a tremendous difference in the overall texture and appearance of my skin, the youthfulness of my skin. <clears throat> so for me, I feel like I have found a fantastic combination in my um, skincare routine, Life Cell. It is a uh, cream that you put on your face, which I'm seeing just rejuvenation here a lot and under my eyes here and up in here on my forehead my brow area where you get those talk and laugh lines I'm also seeing it on this side so for me this combination of this new daily serum cream in combination with my moist my uh, primer and my foundation <clears throat> I see a drastic difference in my skin just looking straight on here now it's remarkable what I, what I see I don't know if you can see it on your side or not but all of the little uh, blemishes that are permanently there you're, you're not going to get rid of all of those 
Um, most of my dark spots have been removed with ex the exception of the one uh, on this side of my face right here. But everything else, the transformation and the uniformity that I get in my skin texture and appearance by using these products in connection with each other is just, for me, I think, I, I don't know that I could find anything better, to be quite honest with you. And I really am so excited about the difference in my skin. These lines here, they're 40 to 50 percent less than they were 10 days ago. Used to be able to see them all the time. Now you can only see them when I'm talking. And that's what you should see because your skin is moving, right? So whatever's happening, I'm seeing a drastic improvement and refilling in of this area here in my skin. Life Cell. It's a great product. Great product. Okay, we're going to seal all this up today with my Revlon Color Stay foundation. Again, I'm not using my loose powder because I don't have real good control, <laughs> obviously. And so I don't want to get it everywhere. So I'm just using my trusty Revlon setting powder here. And getting that all sealed up. And let's go up and now let's try to do the brows. I'm going to have to redo the brows, I'm sure. That's okay. That's why we're using the powder, because the powder is so much easier for me to control than um, the uh, this little wand. I can control much better than that pencil. So we'll just come back in and we'll fix these. <coughs> Very sad news yesterday, again yesterday, new sad news. First we get the news that the king has cancer. Then we find out that Monday evening we lost Toby Keith to stomach cancer. He passed away at home with his family. And this, that makes me very sad. He truly was a great American patriot. He loved this country. He was vocal about his love for this country. And he is going to be very, very missed. I was so sad to hear that news yesterday. And I was really hoping that it was not true, but it was, and it's very sad. It's sad for us, it's sad for our country, and it's sad for his wonderful family, and I wish them all of God's grace and peace in this very difficult time. Grief is one of those things that people say and have said to me, time is your best friend. And it gets easier as the days go by. And I don't agree with that. For me, when I look at the calendar and I look how long my beautiful mom's been gone, the, the number of days that she's gone and because of all of the things that 
I can't share with her now. I find it to be the opposite way. The longer she's gone, the harder and harder it is for me to accept that she is gone. And that I can't pick up the phone and call her and say, Guess what happened today, Mom? I miss her voice and I miss her encouragement and her guidance and her calling me on the carpet when that needs to happen. And her unbelievable support and love in everything I did. She had so much confidence and faith in me. Uh, when I didn't. And I miss that. I miss that. Okay, that was, I used my L.A. Color Girls Coco Shimmer Dollar Store <laughs> um, lipstick. Love this color. Uh, it's a really nice, rich winter color. Um, we're going to use my favorite gray palette today. This is my Venus Nose. It comes from Sheen. It's this beautiful gray, true gray in my opinion. This is a true gray palette. Every color in here is a gray. It's not a green or a blue gray. It is a gray. And depending on what kind of shade you're looking for, you know, as far as depth of gray, this palette is remarkable. I got it from Sheen. It was four dollars, and it 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 is one of the best I have really ever bought. I'm not joking. For four dollars, and I love the color. I love the saturation. The formula is phenomenal. I don't have to come in and redo my makeup. It lasts all day. I'm using the lightest color now in the palette. The white color. I'm wearing grays, obviously, today. And we are putting that all over the lid and the eye socket itself. Making sure to get it into this corner right here so we have no shadowing. Make sure we have no shadow right here. That is where most people's darkest discoloration comes, is right here in this corner area. So we're going to make sure that we really get that covered up well. Perfect. A little bit underneath. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, my nose is running. Let me get a drink. So, we did not see our shadow. Our trusty little groundhog did not see his shadow, which means that we are in for an early spring, which means, unfortunately for us down here in Houston, we haven't had enough cold weather to get rid of all the bugs. What I mean by that is all the, the larvae and stuff that floats around here in the wintertime, and we really need a hard winter frost to kill all of that. And when that doesn't happen, we generally have just an absolute infestation in the summertime of uh, mosquitoes and gnats and just all sorts of stuff. I am praying we get maybe one or two more cold nights, but it's not looking real good. using now the middle tones in the palette and we're just kind of mixing them and putting that up in the transitional area right in here just give some definition and a break in the color I do very much love a gray color palette. It's probably one of my favorite behind pink. Now we're going to use the darkest shimmer in this palette. 
palette and we're going to come down and we're going to put that down on the bottom lash line. And that is not the right brush. Just outlining the eye, just using the natural shape of my eye and following that on the top and on the bottom. Oops, got a little too dark there. Have to fix that. That one got way out of control. <laughs> Easy fix though, we'll just pick up the gray, the light gray, and we'll just come in and we'll blend it out. But, now that means I have to go to the other side and I have to do the same thing over there. So. Just do the same thing over there and then pick up that light gray and blend that too. And while we're at it, we'll just blend all that out and make a little wing here. Sometimes mistakes end up being looking okay. This time it's gonna be okay. I do need to pick up my um, Color Stay powder, my Revlon powder. I do have Fallout. And so what I want to do is I want to pick that out and I want to blend that area out here too. You can see. We will get a little bit of white and blend that outer area. Now I'm going to use the gray. I'm going to use the really light gray and we're going to reload that on my brush and we're going to just blend here because that's a little darker than I wanted to see today. It's okay. We just take our time and blend. When you make a mistake, like I did. Just take your time and blend with a lighter color. And you will be fine. See, that turned out beautiful now, actually. So, you make a mistake, it's okay, you can make a mistake. Great palette. This one, Sheen. Um, Venus Nose is the name of this one. This one I would recommend definitely. If you don't have it, get it, especially if you love grays like I do. Um, it's a great palette to have in your makeup collection. I'm not gonna do contour today, just because I'm not. Um, trying to use my arm as much as I can, um, within reason. I don't have a lot going on today. I don't have any appointments today, I don't believe, and I don't have to go anywhere today, so we're just going to forego the contour today. I do have some videos that I need to make for some of my affiliate programs that I work with. <coughs> and, uh, come back in with my real fluffy powder puff and just dip back into my Revlon and we're just going to blend all of this together. My 
make sure we don't have any harsh lines anywhere. That is done. I know one thing when I'm finished here, I will be going to get a pain pill because I'm definitely struggling. Moving and changing directions is probably the hardest part of this particular surgery recovery. All right, let's curl the lashes. And that dark gray mistake actually is very pretty now that it's all blended out. It is just the... Using it to outline and offset my eyes. And as you can see, I did that um, all along this both sides of the eye. And then I pulled it out in this direction to um, create just a little wing. And I did that by just using this little tiny brush and pulling this way. Just to create that, that little bit of emphasis that draws your eye out. So it makes your eye look wider. And by carrying the color up in onto the bone here, it opens up my eyes. So when you have dark eyes like I do, you want to be using colors that are going to accentuate and open up the eye socket so your eyes pop and not sink backward. Green, blue, gray, anything that's sort of at the opposite side or getting to the opposite side of, your, of the color wheel. All right, using this wonderful new mascara that I'm just loving. L'Oreal has hit a home run with this product, I'm telling you. If it's not sold out, it should be sold out. It is a remarkable mascara. The wand, in my opinion, is perfect. Perfect shape, perfect size, perfect um, hardness. It gets to each lash and it coats each lash and it combs each lash and it gives you this beautiful full extension of your natural lash. I have to say this product has made my eyelashes look be better than they've looked in since before my weight loss surgery. When I had my weight loss surgery I lost a lot of my eyelashes took me a long time to get them back. Then I had an injury on top of them when I tried to put um, extensions on, which I would never encourage anybody ever to do. And it's taken me two years from that injury to really get my lashes to look this good. And this product is remarkable. It picks up every tiny little lash it's the coating you get is remarkable. It goes on so easy because the wand is just 
perfection. Absolute perfection. My, my eyelashes haven't looked this good in three years. I have very straight and very light colored lashes and so um, for me I've got to use a product that um, is black first of all and a product that is going to go down and is going to lock that curl into place because if you don't for me if I don't curl my lashes you can't see them even with mascara they are so straight that um, I've got to have curl to them in order for them to, to show up and In the three days I've been using this product, my curls, my lashes are as curled as they are at 9 o'clock at night as they were at 9 o'clock in the morning. So, that'll tell you what a great product this is. It doesn't flake, it doesn't get all clumpy at the ends. I hate that with a mascara when it gets all clumpy at the ends. It's just such a clean application. I'm going to just go back and put a little bit more out on the ends to get that little bit more of an extension. Beautiful, right? Beautiful, beautiful product. Wow. All right, let's see. Do I want to put some lip gloss on? I don't think I do today. I think I just want to keep it very matte. Let's just put a little bit. friends is it for me today on this Wednesday get my glasses in so I can see very nice thanks for joining me this morning guys I just love I look forward to this conversation every day I really do I know that sounds crazy because who am I talking to I'm not talking to anybody I'm talking to myself right but I'm talking to you because you are out there and you watch my videos and you comment on my videos and that is just, I look forward to that. I look forward to it every day I wake up to see who has commented, what they have said, are there questions, do we need to talk about something, um, can I help you in any way? I would love the opportunity to do a skin care consultation with you or a makeup makeover for you if you've got that really important product or birthday or meeting or whatever I would love the opportunity to do that if you were in and around the Houston area you can go to my main landing page which will give you access to all of me <laughs> essentially all of my companies all of my interests what I'm passionate about the things that I support um, my weight loss recovery my recovery from my disease that I have, reflex sympathetic dystrophy, my companies, my insurance company, my design company, my mental wellness company, you name it and you can get it all there as well as there are links there that you can go to for the affiliate programs that I am a part of and do some shopping from Flower Nose and Natasha Denona. So don't miss out on those links. Go to my homepage, which is my full name, CarrieDevlinScroggins.com and take a look around and do some shopping and I would love to hear from you. Some feedback is so important. My social media is all designed to help you, 
to help us, to help me, to help all of us have our most successful life. Live it successfully and have it all. Life is a gift. We are not here very long. Don't waste a minute of it on negativity. There is so much in life that is just waiting for you to go get. I feel like I've wasted quite a long time. And I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not. I've got dreams and goals and aspirations that I have not fulfilled, that I will fulfill, that I will not let anything stop me from fulfilling. And to remind you, I'm a reminder. I'm 61 years old. I'm actively modeling again. Age is a number. That is all it is. It doesn't define you. It doesn't stop you from doing and chasing your goals and your dreams. Now more than ever in our society, we have those opportunities. Don't squander them. If you've had a dream and you haven't reached it, go get it. Life's too short not to succeed in those things. It's just a number. Your age is just a number. It is an anniversary of your arrival at this beautiful thing called life. Don't waste another day because tomorrow is not promised. It's not. Have a wonderful Wednesday. If you would, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you are a member and a community member, thank you for that. I so appreciate that. I love talking to all of you. I love your feedback and your comments. Hit the bell so you know the next time I post a video. And guys, I hope Wednesday, this Wednesday, is a fantastic day. Get out there and hit your Grand Slam. Crush your goals. Follow up on all those things that you have been telling yourself you need to do but that you can't get to. Make it today. No more excuses. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching me this morning. Thanks for joining me while we get ready. And remember, age... It's just a number. It doesn't define who you are or what you can do or the goals and dreams that you can chase. It's just a number. Have a great Wednesday.